Good morning, everyone. My name is Hannah, and I am an archaeologist. And my team and I are on a very important dig at the moment. We are trying to find out all about a man called Joseph. Now, Joseph's story is told in the first book of the Bible, in Genesis. And we are excavating at the moment, trying to find any clues we can about his life. And you have joined us at a crucial time in our dig because today we found something very exciting. Let's take you back to what happened earlier. So there I was, just digging away when my spade hit something. So I heaved and heaved and heaved and out came this basket. All the tests have now been done on the box and it looks like it's from when Joseph was around. So you are joining me at opening time. Shall we see what's inside our basket? Hmm, so, wow, these, these are great artifacts. We've got some multicolored material. I wonder what that's about. Um, we've got, Wow, we've got, what do you think this is? I mean, to me, it looks like a cow. We'll have to find out, do some tests on that. We've got, we've got a map, and wow. Oh, this could be worth something, actually. We've got some jewelry. I wonder what that's all about. We've got something that looks like a silver cup, and And not just any diary, this, I think this is Joseph's diary, written by Joseph, this, this is amazing, this could make my career, oh, wow, I wonder what all of these items are about, I think they all feature in Joseph's story. And for the next six weeks, we are going to be uncovering this story. I'm sure all these artifacts are gonna come in handy as we find out all about Joseph's life. In Joseph's life, there are highs and lows, but God is faithful throughout. So we're going to start this morning by worshiping God together. So let's all get up on our feet and let's sing some praises to God. Long, long ago, long before all the world began You thought of me as you worked out your master plan You chose my heart to be yours Now I'm a child of God
God all together. Do you know what guys? I am fascinated by Joseph's diary. I mean there's so much in it. He tells us all about his life. Every week this term we are going to be hearing from Joseph as he speaks to us through his diary and so we're going to have our first episode now of Joseph from Joseph's diary. <laughs> My name is Joseph. You're going to want to remember that, because one day soon, I'm going to be famous. I live in Canaan with my 11 brothers and loads of sheep. You'd think with that many brothers and sheep, I'd be lost in a crowd. But no. Dad says I'm the best son. He gave me this snazzy jacket. Yeah, pretty fancy. I'm a dreamer. I dream dreams, and that's where the story begins. A while back, I had this dream. I dreamed that the sun and the moon and eleven stars, obviously my parents and my brothers, were all bowing down to me. It must mean that I'm a total legend. No? When I told my brothers and my dad that one day they'd all bow down to me, they thought I was just showing off. But I wasn't. Well, maybe I was. A bit. I want to know what this means. I think it's one of the ways God speaks to me. My name is Joseph, the dreamer, and this is my diary. Dear diary, I'm writing this from a well. Things could be worse. At least there isn't any water down here. But things could be better. Dad will be so worried. He sent me out this morning to find my brothers and their sheep. But when I arrived, they threw me in this well. And worst of all, they took my snazzy jacket. <sighs> I knew they were jealous, but I had no idea how much they hated me. They're my brothers. I can't believe they do this. Must finish writing. There are voices above. Something about selling me as a slave. Sounds like I'm going to Egypt. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a roller coaster for Joseph today. Well, that was great. I loved hearing from Joseph's diary. And next up, we are going to do something active. So you may have seen that there were three videos today. One has a building game in it, one has a craft to do in it, and one has a dance to learn in it. So whichever video you're watching, whether you're watching building or craft or dance, we've got that coming up next. So get ready, let's go. Hey guys. Um... I'm Josh, hopefully you know who I am, uh, don't worry if you don't, um, and I'm really happy since today I'm introducing our very first building challenge, it's going to be so much fun. If you don't know what I'm on about, basically every week this term I will be setting a different building related task, which you can do at home, uh, they're going to be really fun, really easy, and yeah you're going to have great, a great time doing it hopefully. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned uh, is once you have finished your building related task, please can you take a photo of it and send them in to your kids leader since I know that they're so excited to see what you're getting up to and I'm really excited too, I would love to see what, what you guys can build and today for our very first building challenge we're going to be building towers so it sounds fun since it is uh, now um, to build your tower I will let you use anything that you find around your house for me personally I have a lot of books 
So I'm going to be building my tower, or I've already built my tower out of um, books. But don't worry if you don't have any books, you can use whatever you find around your house. Maybe you have loads of boxes, maybe you have other stuff, but it's fine. As long as you're building stuff with stuff back that you can find in your house, that's okay with me. So to build my tower, I use books. I have the Harry Potter books here. Uh, one possible way of building a tower would be to stack up books like this and then see how high you can get. If you have a lot of books, you can obviously get really high. Uh, but to build my tower, what I did is I did something slightly differently, which is I actually put uh, two books uh, side by side like this, and then I would put another book on top, almost like Jenga, and it sort of gets a bit taller uh, without using as many books. But honestly, feel free to use whatever method you like. Um, so yeah, so my tower I made earlier in true blue pizza fashion. Um, so I'm just gonna show you my tower here. It's about 50 centimeters tall. Um, and as I said, I use hardback books, which is probably a good tip. Um, I put a book up like this, then I put another one on top and then so on. So this is three stories high. Um, hopefully you can build slightly taller, but as I said, it's about 50 centimeters high. So if you can get to about a meter, I'd be really impressed. Um, but honestly, feel free to build your tower out of anything you like. I'm expecting some really tall towers. Um, as I said, you can use books, you can use boxes, you can use whatever you find around your house. And I'm so excited to see what you can build. And hopefully you can build something a lot taller than my tower. So have fun, guys. Wonderful. Do you know, I'm still intrigued by what happened today in Joseph's diary. I think Becca might have something to say to us to help us understand what's going on in this story. So, over to Becca. Hi HD Kids, my name is Becca and I'm on the HD Kids team and I am going to help us think about what we heard in today's diary entry a little bit more. We heard from Joseph, who lived lots and lots of years ago in Canaan with his family. Now, God had a special plan for Joseph's life, and to help with this, he gave him a gift. God gave Joseph incredible dreams with messages. I wonder if you've ever had a strange dream where there's been something funny going on. Now, God used dreams a bit like that to communicate with Joseph and tell him things. But the problem was Joseph wasn't very good at using this gift. It's a bit like if someone gave me a pair of shoes, but instead of putting them on my feet and using them to walk around, I decided to fill them up with water and then try to drink out of them. I've not used these shoes properly. And it was a bit like that. Joseph didn't use his dreams properly. He tried to use them to say that he was special and better than other people. In the diary, we heard about Joseph's brothers. Now, they were already jealous of Joseph because he was their dad's favourite. But things got even worse when he started talking about his dreams. Because he wasn't very good at being humble, they thought he was just trying to show off. And so they did something really mean. They threw him in a well and then they sold him to be a slave. Joseph had gone from being part of his family to being hated by them. It looks like lots of people have made big mistakes here. Joseph wasn't very good at being humble and liked to think he was the best. But his brothers were really mean to him and sold him to be a slave. But these mistakes didn't mean that God didn't have a special plan for Joseph's life. God was going to do incredible things through Joseph and we are going to hear all about them this term. But Joseph needed to learn to listen to God and follow him. It's the same for us. God has a plan for our lives. And even when we mess up and do things wrong, it doesn't mean that God isn't going to use us. It's a bit like if you dropped a vase or a glass on the floor and it broke into lots of pieces. 
we can still glue that thing back together again and use it and it will still be good. It might look different to what it did before, but it's still worth something. And it's like that, even when we mess up and do things wrong, God can still use us. And it might look different to how it did before, but it is still good. But like Joseph is going to learn all through this term, we need to look to God and to follow him to see what his plan is for our lives. It's so exciting that God has plans for each and every one of our lives. So let's try and practice together now. I am going to lead us through a prayer where we're going to ask God to show us a bit of his plan. Dear God, we thank you that you have a plan for each and every one of us. And that even when we make mistakes and we mess up, you are still at work. We pray that you will be showing us what this plan looks like and that you will be leading us. We want to follow you, God. Amen. Well, that is all from me today. I am going to hand over to Leke now, who's going to teach us some actions for our memory verse. Our memory verse is all about how even when we mess up, God still has a plan and can still use us. So it is a great one to remember. Hi everyone, I'm Leke and I'm here to show you the memory verse. This term we'll be hearing how Joseph went through lots of ups and lots of downs. God remained faithful to Joseph even when it felt like things were going really wrong. God is still faithful to us today and by remembering this memory verse we can remember God's faithfulness. The memory verse is taken from Genesis 50 verse 20. Are you ready? You intended to harm me but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Fantastic! That's all from me. I'm going to hand over to the archaeologists. Bye! Hello everybody, it's Ellie here. Um, you can't see me very well because I'm hiding um, and I'm whispering because don't panic, but I think I've just seen a leopard. You know, we're all staying calm, but I think I have just seen a leopard. Um, so I've come to have a bit of a closer look. Oh, oh no, it's okay, panic, panic over everybody. It's not a leopard. It's just my jacket that's got leopard print on it. I knew I left that somewhere. <sighs> well, now everything's a bit safer. Um, let me get some of this forest out of the way so you can see properly. Are you ready? There we go, much better. As I was saying, my name's Ellie and I am one of the archaeologists. But this week's not been a good week for me because you see, I've been stranded in this jungle for a week while we've been on this dig and the only thing there is to eat is broccoli. It's so sad. Oh. But this morning, it's been worth it. Well, nearly worth it because we found a box full of stuff that tells us about this boy, Joseph. And we've been looking at this stuff and trying to work out what it means. And one of the things we've realized is that sometimes in Joseph's life, things were really, really good. And sometimes things were really, really bad. But whether stuff was good or bad for him, God was with him. Hey, that reminds me of our memory verse that we've just learned with Leke. I wonder if you guys can remember the actions to it. I think it went a little bit like this. Let's have a go. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. To accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many. Broccolis. Am I close? No? Oh yeah, of course. The saving of many lives. I'm so glad you guys are here to help me with this because I would have got it completely wrong. I've spent too long with broccolis. <laughs> but in our memory verse, we can see that whether stuff was good or bad, God was with Joseph. And the same is true for us today. Sometimes stuff is really good for us. And sometimes, like me now, we're stuck in the jungle. and We can't get out. We can only eat broccoli. But God is still with us. Why don't we pray together now to say thank you to God? 
that he's with us. Let's pray. Father God, when we look back over this last year, we can see that sometimes things have been really bad and sometimes things have been really good and you've been with us through it all. Father, thank you that you're with us. Thank you that you will be with us this year. And thank you that you have a plan and your plan is good. Amen. And that is all from us. Um, as always, we hope you guys have a great week. We love you. We hope to see you soon. And goodbye from me. Goodbye from my broccoli. Have a great week. Goodbye, everybody.